the power station. The Obi and Little Sean Morning Show. What it is with Esty. What it is. Power 95.3. With Esty out, we've got Ashley in. And if you miss any of the stories that Ashley covers and what it is, she's blogging about it too vigorously. Mm-hmm. I see you working over there. Yeah, man. I'm in the wow. zone. Like I'm the Esty zone. zone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what it is with Kim Kardashian and Kanye, they definitely won't be getting any baby gifts from anybody. Well, that's what they're hoping. They are saying uh, they want to make it clear to family, friends, and fans there's absolutely no baby registry because apparently there's been some fake ones popping up on the internet and they don't want any presents. They're actually asking in lieu of presents to cut a check to the Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago, which is uh, where Kanye grew up. So that's pretty cool. I think that's cool. I think that's a classy move. You know, I I mentioned this earlier, uh, especially yesterday when we talked about Michael Jordan getting married. Remember that they took a a, a huge portion of all the gifts and stuff like that and donated Mm -hmm. to his father's foundation. Well, when rich people do this, I think it's a nice little because they've got the money. Yeah, plenty. But do they really get those many gifts from just strangers? And the, those strangers don't they have a life to be sending? You know, I think that's a little presentado, and there's you know on their side to just be sending Kanye and Kim like a baby shower gift. They don't even you know, know them. Yeah, you know, you'd, but, be sur- you'd be surprised. Uh-huh. You'd be surprised. When I remember having open heart surgery, remember when I had open heart surgery, and random people send me stuff. That was kind of cool. So maybe that's the same thing that they're worried about. Don't send the gifts. Yeah. Donate money. Tons of fans, especially between the two of them. But anyway, then what it is with NBA player Jason Collins yesterday, if you didn't hear the story, he did come out. He is the uh, first active gay athlete in one of the four big North American sports leagues. That's the NBA, NFL, MLB, and NHL. He uh, he said this himself. Now it's kind of uh, mind-boggling. Um, I think I talk about that that. You know, I never set out to be the first, and it's, um, you know, I was, you know, you're sort of waiting around for somebody else to, you know, raise their hand, and, you know, I'm ready to raise my hand, but, you know, you still look around like, okay, come on, guys. And oh, wow. more guys out there? Yeah, so he, this past season, he actually played for the Washington Wizards, and uh, lots of people coming out about it, celebrities, athletes, Kobe Bryant being one of them. He tweeted, proud of Jason Collins, don't suffocate who you are because of the ignorance of others. And then uh, Kobe's teammate, actually, Steve Nash, had this to say. I think it's great that Jason's, you know, strong enough to come out. I think he's, uh, you know, going to make a huge impact on a lot of people. I think most importantly, a lot of young people. This is a really, really important issue. This is a a really important time that somebody is finally, you know, taking a a leadership role in this respect. And, um, you know, it'd be great if he can continue to play. Wow. So those people who don't know who Jason Collins is, you are going to know who Jason Collins Mm -hmm. is. I mean, he's going to do the Frank Ocean effect where now everybody's going to know who he is. Yeah. So, um, anyways, that's just interesting. Mm-hmm, and that's what it is. You can check out all those stories on the What It Is blog at power953.com. It's Obi and Lil Shaw Morning Show.